Let's talk about the Bible, okay? Sure. I don't believe either. Bible. You don't believe in the Bible? I don't think there's any God. Or okay, you don't believe in God at all? No. Really. Okay. So, but that's, that's, that's the scientific miracles, the linguistic miracles, the mathematical miracles, the historic evidence, the, if you put all of that together, sure. I believe an illiterate man in a desert uh -huh. that had no access to such knowledge, that had okay. never been to an ocean, sure. would not know that there are waves underneath the ocean, that would okay. not know that sweet okay. water that. and salt water, yeah. those things that the Arabs didn't know, sure. that they, they disputed about, but they were came to be true, okay. this shows a miraculous nature nature of the when you talk about an extraordinary evidence uh -huh. I, we have already agreed that there are linguistic miracles there are scientific miracles okay scientific miracles you, you said i'll give you that no i grant that for the sake of the argument <laughs> look we're not here to debate if you granted it that means it's been granted that means we've established it so 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 so, so okay you said you will grant us that there are scientific miracles for the sake of the argument okay so we are saying that i don't believe the argument i don't see it that way but go ahead well i'm just asking if okay because so so let me let me let me ask you a question so there's a man who's illiterate. A man who's illiterate. Okay. Unable to read or write. Okay. Historic evidence. What's the evidence? Every first-hand source, the people that were there, said he was illiterate. If you if you if you tell me something that's no no so so people that are there that physically see him what is that? That's first-hand, right? No, first-hand is when you testify. So those people that testify. Are second. Okay. So the. If I go to court and I testify, am that's, I first hand? If you're testifying what you observe, that's so, still a second hand testimony. So the first hand is, is the person who actually committed the act. Exactly. So yeah. those people that were actually there, sure. that spoke to the person, uh -huh. that were committing that act of communication, okay. they were first hand reports, right? They were the ones speaking to the prophet. They, it's still second hand, but. Okay. Yeah. So let's go with second hand. Sure. So those people that met the prophet Muhammad historically, uh -huh that documented about him across the board with consensus, without any exceptions, sure. historically said he was unable to read or write. Okay. Okay, so sure. we, we good there? Sure, okay. I'm following you so far. Good, so you have somebody who's unable to read or write, uh -huh. right? Never wrote a poem. He was not a poet. So he wrote this, he wrote this book that's- Oh, that's, that's, oh I'm, I, not, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Takalam Arabi? I love Nani. I'm not going to be able to read English and Spanish. Are you going to be able to read English and Spanish? I'm much more comfortable in English. No, 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 but you read the Quran in Arabic, so I'm just trying to see if you understand Fusha. You know Arabic. I can recite it, I, I read it better in English. No, no. But I understand the poetry. So, so let me, the, let me, let me, I, I let me explain something. You're, you're Lebanese, I'm Pakistani, right? Hello. Arabic's not my language. How are you guys doing? Okay. Urdu. Pashto, Urdu, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, I learned Arabic, but the, the classic Arabic. Sure. And there's a difference between Amiya, what most people speak, and Fusha, right? Oh, you're talking about uh, the, the Quranic or literature Arabic. Excellent. Sure, uh, yeah, I get that. So yeah. when you read the Arabic and Quran, it's beautiful, yes. it's beautiful right? Yeah. So a man named Muhammad, uh -huh. who could not read or write, uh -huh. had no idea about scientific research because Arabs sure. at that time had no idea. I don't, I, that's a stretch. But sure, how is that a stretch? Were the Arabs known I mean, for like, scientific I was, research? I was about to go into, sure. go into the topic of the fetus looking like a, a chew piece of gum. Sure, I mean, before I mean, we go there... Are observable facts sure, we, the universe. Really? So, so how would a prophet... You don't think they had miscarriages in the... In hold, the hold on, hold on. Okay, let, me, let me get there. Sure. Let me get there. When the Quran talks about the development of the fetus inside the womb, uh -huh. oh, really? how would the Prophet Muhammad have known about those stages? Miscarriages. I mean, that's miscarriage obvious. doesn't develop, it comes out. No, you don't understand a miscarriage. A miscarriage uh, I think I do understand what a miscarriage is. Huh? When you have a miscarriage, a child that's in the womb exits the uh -huh. womb prematurely. Sure. You don't see the development of that of child. Can, because not every okay. miscarriage is the same stage of, of development. So you're saying that the Prophet Muhammad watched... My ex-wife had a miscarriage at, at six, at almost six months. Okay. But so was, from that, pretty, okay, was, so let me, let me, about, if you, if you, I have pictures of it, you'd like to see it. I'm good, thank you. Okay, so it's, it was about five inches long. Got it. And looked like a really, really, really tiny baby. Got it, perfect, okay. Now, some miscarriages happen within How you doing? two months of, okay. of pregnancy. So, so are, are you saying, are you saying the Prophet Muhammad looked at a series of miscarriages? He could have. He so could have. assume that, that it, okay. was, it was a miraculous implantation. Okay, but, so, so let me, let me. How would he know at what stages does it does the baby develop? 
a miscarriage is going to math is not hard. Math is not hard for a man in Arab Arabia without I any think you're well, wait 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 the capacity to understand <laughs> like, if, I, if, and if I'm going to listen to you you listen to me that's the way you're going to have a conversation sure. so if you have something to say I'll be quiet okay. okay do you have something to say first okay do you I have was going to say I, I mean, go ahead I, I think obviously mm -hmm. I mean we understand I it wasn't until the 1800s that that we finally understood that it takes nine months to gestate the thank child, you right so thank you no, I'm saying it wasn't until then yes it, you're right so but but the I'm Quran discusses that. It's quite possible that mm -hmm. at, at, at that time, uh, for all religions, for all people, they understood it takes roughly nine months. They probably understood how many months or how many days or however moons they counted after a, a woman had, had menstruated the last time. Okay, so it's been about a month. She's probably pregnant. I, I don't think it was, it's an impossible feat for them sure. to calculate I'm listening. The, the gestation of, of the fetus okay. to determine if it miscarries, miscarries it, let's say, two months, this looks about this size. Sure. May not be an exact, may, may an approximation, but I don't think it's, it's, it's miraculous. I'm just listening right now. So sure. anything else you want to say first? On that subject, no. <laughs> okay. Can I speak now sure. without being interrupted? Thank you. So if we talk about a miscarriage, uh -huh. If you're like a midwife, maybe you see a lot of those. As a regular person, I'm sure you saw one, I'm assuming. You a don't couple. see a, a couple. I used to be a preacher. Sure, you used yeah. to be a preacher, so you've seen a couple. But you, you don't see them like every day in different stages. And that's not going to tell you how the flesh goes around the bone, how the fetus develops, unless that's all you're doing as research, right? That's the, but that's just only... Okay, sure. But that's not it. That's not just the only miracle, right? There are so many scientific facts. For example, the waves oh. that are underneath the ocean. Any right? That's that's easy to observe too. How how? You would oh have to God, go to the who, who spent go ahead, time on I'm listening. Excellent. Currents. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never went to the he had ocean. No people who did? Nope. Yeah, he he, never met somebody who'd been look, on the look, sea. Look, look. He himself had never dived or been to an ocean. Okay? At the time the Arabs were not snorkelers. Okay. Okay, so, no, wait, wait, let me, these, I'm gonna let me, let me, miracles, okay, miracles. we got all the miracles, we granted not, it, no, okay, good. I'm going to grant you all the, not, not the miracles, I'm going to grant you all the claims. Well, you just said miracles, now you're going to change it. Because <laughs> I don't believe in miracles. Okay, well, you're I'm, a preacher, okay, you don't believe in miracles? All the supernatural claims. Okay. How do you know that? Because of God. Excellent. If a man who is illiterate uh -huh. brings forth a literary work uh -huh. that the Arabs could not match all of the poets, right? Granted. All Arabic grammar goes back today to the Quran. Mm -hmm. and Sarf and all that. You agree? I grant, out, I grant that too. Excellent. And it has scientific miracles. Let's grant that too. And it talks about the solar system and everything and yeah, balance. All you grab all of it. Okay, we're, yeah. we're getting there, right? I don't actually believe this, but I'm granting it for the argument. Well, if you're granting it, then here we're, we're going to say that it stands, yeah. right? Yeah. Then we say that there has to be a explanation for this, right? Okay, so the two. Quran itself explains that. It explains that this is not the words of Muhammad, peace be upon him, right? Rather, please, go ahead. Rather, this is a divine message. Even when you look at the story of Joseph in the Quran, one of the, one of the, the Jewish uh, rabbis objected, why was Joseph in, uh, why was Musa in Egypt? And the Arab, Musa. And the Arabs, the, the people of Mecca, they couldn't answer that until the Quran revealed Sa'ilun, the people who had Su'al, to explain to them how these things happen. Okay, how do you know that the Quran... Hold on, I'm getting, see, I listened to you, right? Remember? The rules, right? Thank you. So, if it was just one scientific miracle, we could have said it's a guess. Okay? We could have said it's a coincidence. But when you match things like the splitting of the moon, which was not just documented by, by people who were there, but if you look at the literature, historic literature, it was documented by Hindus in India. Right? I can send you all the references if you like. I taught this. Sure. So let me. Can I can I finish and then I let you finish? I'll let you interrupt me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You're trying to confirm a miracle in the Quran with something you say is observed in text of a culture whose religion you also say is false. We're talking about historic documentation, not religious text. There's a difference. Sure, there's a difference. One is religious texts that, that talk about Hanuman or uh, Sita or Ram or those things that have no historic references. One is a king in India 
that we can refer to not time, time, place and all of that saying he observed something in a book of history, not a religious belief. But did he also make supernatural claims in that same text? No. It's a historic no. text. No. That was a king. It wasn't a religious figure. Because there's also a text in the Mayan well, calendar that says Iran, for example, you that, for Iran example, is a majority the Earth started with turtles. Yeah. So, okay. The, what does that have to do with anything? So it has historical documentation. The, yeah, no, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a claim of something they saw? Yes, or is that, that they, they saw? Ancestors saw this. Okay. So, so the question then becomes... Wait, so can I... This is why I, was, I wanted to finish because I wasn't done with... It's not just there. Uh -huh. It's not just the Mayan. It's not just the Hindu. The people that were physically there that saw the splitting of the moon, uh -huh. they, those ahadith are recorded, checked for authenticity, who said it, when they said it, right? Okay. And it's also accompanied and supported by people that were not physically in the same geographical location. So what I'm saying is, once you get the scientific miracle, which you've granted us, and then you've got the linguistic miracles, then you've got, for example, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excellent. So when you look at the Quran, what's called Balagha, if you've studied Arabic, have you studied Arabic? Continue. That's a question so I can continue. I don't know. Have you studied Arabic? Yes or no? Know. You don't know if you studied Arabic? Please continue. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to have a civil conversation. But the reason, the reason I'm asking is because if you have, then I can explain things to you with the essence of Balagha. And if you haven't, then I have to explain that. So the question is very simple. Have you... Okay. It's a pretty pathetic God. Who okay. Requires that everybody speak a particular language to okay. understand America. I'm not sure who requires everybody to speak Arabic. Well, Nobody. So you're saying it sounds like you're suggesting that the miracle is only observable if nope. I understand Arabic. No, nope. I did not say that. Please do not insert words into my mouth. Let me explain something. Okay. You asked me about the linguistic miracle. Sure. And you started to go about in, Arabic and my study. Again, I'm speaking and you're interrupting. Well, I'm trying to clarify. I, I know, but remember, remember when you were speaking and I didn't interrupt you to clarify? Okay. So if I'm speaking, please, let's, I mean, if we have respect, then we can have a conversation, right? Okay. So when we talk about the scientific miracles, that has nothing to do with language. Okay? We've already granted that. So, so you don't have to speak Arabic to know the miracle of the Quran. But when you ask the linguistic miracles, uh -huh. then I have to ask you about Arabic because inna anzalnahu Quranan Arabiya. Quran was revealed in the Arabic language. So, so the linguistics of the Quran have to be in Arabic because that's the language it was revealed in. Okay? So for example, if you talk about the beauty of Shakespeare, you will not understand it in Chinese. You can, you'll have to be explained. You'll have to learn English to understand that. If you want to know the beauty of Spanish poetry, when you translate it, it's different. Difference. Yeah, no, there isn't there because okay. I'm going to let you speak then. Then you let if me speak. Going, so an also requires clarification. Sure, but if you keep interrupting, then I can't make a point, right? Can you make points? Okay, then let me finish and then you can refute it. Listen. No, no, because see, see, like now, 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 now you're, really now you're getting, now you're getting upset because I'm showing you evidences. No, you're not. Look, that's, that's, that's the scientific miracles, the linguistic miracles, the mathematical miracles, the historic evidence. Okay. The, if you put all of that together, sure. I believe an illiterate man in a desert uh -huh. that had no access to such knowledge, that had okay. never been to an ocean, sure. would not know that there are waves underneath the ocean, that would okay. not know that sweet okay. water that. and salt water. Yeah. Those things that the Arabs didn't know. That they they disputed about, but they were came to be true. Okay. This shows the miraculous nature of this book. This is the word of Allah. That's what I believe. But you have an true. option to because believe it or not. Unlikely, Why not? How do you explain it then? So that that's what we call that's, uh -huh. that's a, a logical fallacy. It's called the argumentum ad ignorantum. I have no other explanation. Therefore, I'm going to accept this claim. That's not true because the claim is in the Quran itself. So the Quran is true because the Quran says it's true? The Quran is true because it tells you it's true and scientifically, scientifically, <laughs> can, I, can I finish now? Sign, okay, so let's talk about the Bible, okay? Sure, I don't believe either. You don't believe in the Bible? I don't think there's any God. Or, okay, you don't believe in God at all? No. Okay, so explain to me where we came from. So this is another fallacy. Okay, that we didn't come from anywhere? <laughs> I'm not saying that. What okay. I'm saying is because I don't have an explanation, does okay, not make yours any so you, so you do admit that you don't have an explanation? I think we have a pretty good idea, but again, You do, so what is it? Here, here's my explanation. Okay, I'm listening. Let's say I didn't have any answers. Okay. 
that does not resolve you. I'm sorry, that does not absolve you of the responsibility to provide empirical evidence for sure. your explanation. Okay, so. so you're providing so far logical fallacies to okay. to, to buttress your argument. Let me, However, you have not. You said you wanted. I'm listening. To, right. So. Let's say I don't. Let's say I don't. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know who my mother or father are. Right. That does not mean that if you say, well, you're here because pixies had sex and they had like rainbow sperm and now you're here because you're a big old gay person, right? I am no more inclined to believe that argument than yours because I would re first require empirical evidence. Now, a confluence of, of coincidences does not equal evidence. So you're saying, we're assuming, of course, that all the things recorded in the Quran are true, right? So sure, we've already agreed to that, so. He, he, the Quran says it's true because it's true. Well, no, no, you I read a book that says it's true because I, you know, this book is true and therefore the sky is actually purple. I mean, that's ridiculous. But I could also, again, make eight more claims. That I'm just book. listening. Sure. So to say that I don't have an answer, it makes your answer by default correct, is also fallacious. Because then the person who's never met a, a Muslim but has met now a Christian, well, they don't have any other explanation, but the Christian now has mm -hmm. Genesis, right? So that make, make Genesis true? Of course not. The claim, re extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. When you're making a, I'm just listening right now. When you make a claim that everything was created, doing? that's an extraordinary claim because we have no evidence of things being created. You're done speaking? Yeah. Thank you. When you talk about an extraordinary evidence, uh -huh. I, we have already agreed that there are linguistic miracles, there are scientific miracles. Okay, scientific miracles, you, you said I'll give you that. No, I grant that for the sake of the argument. <laughs> Look, we're not here to debate. If you granted it, that means it's been granted. That means we've established it. So, 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 okay. You said you will grant us that there are scientific miracles. For the sake of the argument, yes. Okay, so we are saying that... I don't believe that You can believe whatever you like, okay? But if there are scientific miracles, for the sake of the argument, you've granted it, so you can't go back now. No, no, I'm not granting it. <laughs> Look at you. What I'm saying is, I'm allowed. Look, okay, so if you allow me, then let me continue. Okay, you you see how I listen to you, and you're interrupting me the whole time now, right? You guys just sound like, like no, no, no. You can't make a uh, continuous argument. Look, I think I, you're banking on the fact that I'm just listening to you, and you're not letting me refute because when I start to refute and you realize I'm right, then you corrupt me, then you interrupt are you me. Are you being dishonest? Uh, yes, you are, in a way. Have a nice day. This is very Think it was, uh, How you doing? Good God in Arabic. Yeah, a little better. Huh? Oh, are you even sick or? Yeah, I fell in the hot. Well, I fell on my heart. Oh no! On the ground. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. I'm all right. Get something. Sure. Yeah, this is if you're gonna get anything. Just something just take small. Just take small. There you go. Fuck the size. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you sure, go, man. Right, thank you. Read up. You're welcome. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions. We're here. All right. Hope Thank you. Feel better.